Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. In our today's video, I will go over how to calculate or get an area from a polygon or polygons in a shapefile by using Python. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is create a Jupyter notebook. So I already have a in this folder over here. Here, so I'm gonna call it as area. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do, um, we're going to import the OS. And what we are going to do is we're going to specify the location of um, our folder that we're going to, um, sorry. Uh, so we are going to specify the, the location of uh, our folder where we are going to save or um, the, this is specific uh, Jupyter notebook and also the files. So over here, areas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the um, the location of the folder where is located this um, Jupyter notebook notebook that we just created. I'm gonna copy over here. I'm gonna paste it over here. Perfect. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna use geopandas to read the the shape file. Geopandas as GPD. So let's create a title. So escape m enter to hash and reading shape file. Okay, so I'm gonna create a variable called polygons and I'm gonna read the shape file and I'm gonna store the information in that specific variable. So let's call your pandas and there is a function called read file that allows us uh, to read the, the shape file. So over here we need to put the, the location of um, the, the shape file. So if I go back to the folder, it's inside this folder called four states and is this one. So the names are the same. So I'm gonna copy the name and I paste it over here. And let's, so it's in this folder and inside of this folder so let's specify the, the files as HP. Perfect. So now let's take a look at to the attribute table or the data frame. So now as you can see, this specific shape file has three columns. The first one is basically the name of the states, the abbreviation of the states. The second one is the name of the states. And the third one is the polygon. Um, but if you open QAS, so this shape file by using QAS or RMAP, so um, and you will, uh, if you wanna um, visualize the the attribute table, so you you will see just um, two columns: the abbrevi the abbreviation of the states and the name of the states. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, so as you can see, this has just four, uh, four states, Pennsylvania, New York, Connecticut, and Connecticut, and, and New Jersey. So what I'm gonna do, it, let's plot first. So I'm gonna create escape M, enter, to hash, and plotting. And over here, I'm gonna import matplotlib that pyplot as plt. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plot this one. Also, I forgot something. In order to save the plot in the notebook, so I'm gonna type this um, this code over here. 
perfect. So let me create this plot. Um, so we already go over how to create a, a plot by using Maplotlib. Uh, and I'm gonna put the, um, the link in the description and description so you can you can watch it if you have any 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 question. So okay, so plots one comma let's specify the uh, figure size thirteen ten. So now I'm gonna call the polygons plot and this will be the axis comma the column that we're gonna plot will be this one over here called name this uh, let's specify the edge color as black I'm gonna use the C map to color all the, the states and also I'm gonna plot the legend so let's specify the, um, the its label and also the um, the y the its and the y label so this one should be um, longitude and this one over here latitude um, so also let's plot the legend and get legend enter and let's uh, put the legend in the plot by using this code this will be the location and plt show perfect so as you can see this is the latitude and longitude and those are the four polygons that are in our uh, shape file. Connecticut, New Jersey, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, New York, and Pennsylvania. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna calculate the area of each of the states. So in order to do this, the first thing that we need to do is um, change the projection. So as you can see, this projection is in degrees this one and this one so you can see the the units of the latitude and longitude so let's escape M so changing projection so again if I go to um, the ligands here CRC. So you can see over here this is the description of the projection. And it's in degrees. So in order to change this, so I can use um so let's see, let's take a look at the open street map EPSG 30 32 seats 18 18. So I basically need to use a projection that uses uh, meters as a unit. So if you can see, this one is um, the WGS84 UTM zone 18N, and is in this within in this zone is located New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Connecticut. So I'm gonna use this projection to convert this, this one, which is in degrees, into meters. So the next code would be polygon, polygons, 
And over here, so let's call polygons to CRS. And I'm gonna specify the projection, projections, the projection, sorry. Okay. And so it's, it will be E P S D 32 seats 18. Also, if you want to like move, so you can use this arrow and you can take a look at the 17. So this one is the 17. And yeah, so it's based on the, the area that you want to plot. Okay, so over here I'm converting. Uh, if I copy and paste the, the same code, so I will get that the, um, yeah, I just changed the projection of the, the shape file. And now it's in meters. As you can see over here, the east and north. So now I can, so escape M, enter. I'm gonna calculate the area. Uh, the area. So for each of the states. So let me take a look at again to the polygons. So we have four of them. So what I'm gonna do is so I'm gonna use a specific function, but for that function we need to pass each geometry individually. So in order to do this, so I um, I just want to explain you this before. So over here, geometry. So from the polygons and location zero in the, the column, so this index over here, this the first row, and the the column called geometry. So I'm basically take a look at to this polygon over here. Okay, shift enter to run. Or you can run also by using this button over here. And this is the projection. Sorry, this is the polygon. And as you can see, is this one the red one? So that correspond to Pennsylvania. So so and if we so we can use um this so let's import this so from shape shapely um geometry import shape so by using this library over here so we can shape uh specify the um, the polygon that we want to to get the area and over here put area so as you can see this code over here and by passing the polygon so it gave us the area meters in uh, square meters so basically this is the area that correspond to Pennsylvania in square meters in order to do so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new column and I'm gonna start the um, I'm gonna save the specific area in square meters in each uh, in each of the rows. In order to do this, I'm gonna create a for loop i in range. So if I do if I do this polygons. So let's print to take a look at to what this code does. It, it basically um, it will make a for loop and it will iterate in the length by using the length of the polygon. So as you can see, the length is four. So as a result, it will go over to each of the rows, zero, one, two, and three. So we are gonna use basically this one, the same, but in this of, in, sorry, instead of print something, so I'm gonna create a column called polygons and over here location I'm gonna specify the, each of the locations so which will be I I'm gonna create a new column called area in square meters and now basically I'm using the code but instead of 
using one single polygon, so I'm going to use I, so it will go over each of the polygons. Perfect. So now if we take a look at to the shape file, so you can see that the last column contained the area in a square meters. So now we can convert, let's convert this one into uh, square kilometers. In order to do this, so we can create a new column that's by calling the shape file, the variable that contains the, the shape file, area square kilometers. So this one will be equal to, so let's call the polygons, um, again the shape file, the column that contains the area in square meters. And now let's compute the operation. So in order to convert this, we need to divide it by a million, one million. Perfect. So now let's take a look at two, the shape file. And yeah, so you can see these numbers correspond the area in, in a square kilometers uh, for each of the states, the four states that I have over here. So now what we can do, uh, if you if you want to, for example, move the geometry to the last column, so we can do this. So save call, let's save the call first. Polygon geometry. So I save the column. Now I'm gonna call polygons. And I'm gonna use the function drop to drop the um, this column, so this one over here, the geometry one, so label, I'm gonna need to specify the, the label, so it will be geometry, add this one in order to refer to column, and I'm gonna save the changes in the same, um, in the same, a, um, Variable should be labels, sorry. Perfect. So now, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the function insert to insert the, the this column. So this one that we basically drop to the uh, in, into the end. So to to the end. So so basically, I pull. Plot polygon, polygons. So you can see that we drop the geometry, but we need to put it all, uh, but uh, at the end of the the column, the columns. So so it should be zero, one, two, three, position number four, comma. The column. The name of the column will be geometry, and the values are here. Save column. So now, if I do this, so you can see that we basically move the geometry from here to the the uh, to the end. Okay, that's it for our today video. Don't first don't don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit the like button.